What's good, y'all? Shout out to the notification game for hitting the like button and the video we even start yet. Y'all the realest ones in it. I appreciate you anyway. Listen, man, y'all, y'all, y'all see, y'all see what the title of this goddamn video is. Y'all, y'all already know what time it is. Yet again, my state, South Florida, is on the damn news again for, for the same BS as last time, y'all. Um, so the, the video is about two minutes long. We're gonna watch the video about two, two and a half minutes. We're gonna watch the video's entirety, we're gonna come right back. Another South Florida teacher accused of having an inappropriate relationship with a teen. The 41-year-old right here is seen getting out of jail tonight on charges she had sex with a 15-year-old. Good evening, South Florida. I'm Carlos Suarez. The teacher has been under investigation for months after students said they saw a cell phone video of the two. NBC6 reporter Paxton Boyd was there when she got out of jail. Yeah, I'm outside of Hyrie Calvi's home. I knocked on the door earlier. A young man answered the door simply saying no comment. There was no indication that Calvi was home. The 41 year old teacher facing a slew of charges after being released from jail earlier today. Miss Calvi, what do you have to say about the allegations against you? Shielded by an umbrella, her head covered with a black blanket. Hyrie Calvi was released from jail early Saturday morning. The 41-year-old teacher accused of sex crimes with a 15-year-old boy. Police also confirming she is eight months pregnant. Whose child are you pregnant with? I'm not going to speculate as to whose child it is. Calvi, a teacher at John I. Smith K-8 Center in Doral, was tutoring a former student now in high school. She was arrested after a seven-month-long investigation. Miami-Dade County Public Schools reassigning her during that time. Anytime you have uh, uh, allegations of this nature, they're concerned more so uh, when they involve uh, a person who's in a figure of authority. According to the arrest report, the investigation uncovered nude photos of both Calvi and the student and WhatsApp messages with each of them telling each other, I love you. The arrest affidavit contains text messages to the boy telling him what to do if he is questioned about their relationship, saying, quote, Miss Calvi is my tutor. You don't know anything. You are just my friend. The student eventually telling investigators they did have sex, but claimed it was consensual and he was not a victim. When we spoke to him, uh, he denied being a victim. Uh, he flat out told, her, uh, told us that uh, he was not raped. Um, but I want to point out that under Florida law, a minor cannot give consent. Now, we were able to talk to some neighbors. They did not want to go on camera, but they did call the allegations shocking and horrifying. Yeah, man. Um... I did a video similar to this. I did. I think I did maybe two or three. But anyway, I did a video similar to this about the uh, Lakeland tutor. Uh, I said tutor. The Lakeland teacher that was sleeping with her, uh, her, her underage students, and she allowed him to take Snapchat videos of her and them being sexually active, and doing this, that, and third. And he ended up sending it to whoever, who, who the hell he sent it to, and then she ended up get getting in trouble. I think she was like 22 or 24. She was young. This lady is 41. This lady, so this, this is a grown ass goddamn, <laughs> goddamn woman, and j j just to throw salt on her wound, she's pregnant. She is pregnant, man. And like I was saying in the old, oh, the old video, the Lakeland video, stuff like this happens in the hood all the damn time, bro. This, this is nothing. I'm not saying that it's right. So y'all don't come in comments with the, with the damn nonsense. Um, but I'm not, you know, it, it's 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 nothing new. Stuff like this happens all the damn time. All the time. Whether it's a teacher, whether it's a neighbor, whether it's a goddamn lady from damn Wendy's. Hell, I remember from damn, what, what, I, I used to damn catch a damn city bus to, to damn school. Back when I was in high school, I was probably 14, 15 years old. One, one of the chicks that worked at the, 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 damn, at the damn mall, who was a grown-ass woman, she used to offer me rides. Oh, give me your number. Anytime you need a ride, you can call me. And I'm like, da, 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 da. All right, cool. Let me go ahead and knock this down real quick. <laughs> 15, 16 years old, y'all. This grown ass woman that was like 28, 30 years old offered me a ride. I was like, man, look, I'll take it. I ain't got to sit in this hot ass sun waiting for the damn city bus. Hell yeah, what's up? What you trying to do? Stuff like this happens all the damn time. And the thing that's really crazy, man, and I feel for the little boy. I think he's 15. I feel for the little boy because he doesn't even know what's going on. He doesn't even realize he was just sexual assault, just like the damn police officer says. He's like, no, no, it was consensual. It was consensual. I wanted it. Bro, you're not old enough to give consent. What the hell are you talking about? You damn wanted it. But that's how she played her mind, his mind. That's how she played his damn mind. 
And that's why when when when, the, when those damn topics come out talking about oh keep keep these men away from your young girls and that's the, and a third da 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 okay but what about keeping them women away from these young boys? These young boys is getting touched and 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 all sexually assaulted too, just as much as the little girls, probably more because we'll never know because little boys keep keep the stuff to themselves. A lot of these young boys keep keep that stuff to their self. A lot of us growing up in the hood, 15, 16 years old, knocking, knock, knocking down, knocking down a neighbor that was 28, 30, 35 years old in them guts. But because we were damn young and dumb, we didn't we didn't understand what was going on. We didn't realize what was going on. We didn't realize we were being damn used and all this, that, and the third. We wasn't thinking about that. And that's one of the reasons why I always. Every time when a topic like this comes around, it's always, oh, protect these little girls, protect little girls, make sure these little girls, da, da. what about the little boys too? Women are predators too. Please stop hollering about, oh, men this, they men that, da, da, da. Women are predators too. Y'all seen the damn video. Grown ass 41 year old damn woman. 41 years old, sleeping with this little ass damn boys, making videos and taking pictures with them and all this crazy, just crazy stuff. Like it's regular. But y'all don't be coming at, the, at, the, at these grown-ass women. Y'all don't be making them go viral just as much as these damn men do. They had this one damn guy who uh, who was asking a girl for her number at, 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 at a goddamn bus stop. Y'all made him go viral. Why isn't this viral? Why isn't this damn get, getting millions of goddamn views and shares? That little boy is traumatized just as much as that damn little girl is from the damn bus stop, if not more. If not more. But videos like this is constantly being swept up under the rug. It's made uh, people make jokes about it. People was in the comment section hollering, like, and, and women on top of that. Women was in the comment section talking about, oh, that little boy wanted it. That boy, that little boy was having the time of his life. That little boy wanted a cougar. What the hell are y'all talking about? Knowing damn well if the shoe was on the other foot, y'all would not be saying, oh, that little girl wanted. Y'all wouldn't be saying that. Y'all would have been like, oh my god, I can't believe that grown ass man with that little girl. Oh my god, oh cancel him, da 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 da, get him out of here, get him, arrest him, and all this, that, and third. I saw a girl, a, a lady, right, a woman made a comment, and she said, oh, I, she's pregnant with his child already. I think she needs to be free so they can raise a child together. I said, what? Thousands of likes for her comment thousands of likes i couldn't believe it i could not believe it and i said and i saw that i saw that comment i said yeah i gotta do a video on this nah forget all that i'm definitely doing a video on this definitely doing a video on this man that's a goddamn shame for that little 15 year old boy man i hope he gets the mental help that he that he damn needs that he deserves i hope it's not gonna be another case uh if y'all remember a while back i think it was in uh washington or utah or something like that where a, another teacher who was i think in her 30s sleeping sleeping with a child who was 15 or 16 years old she got pregnant by him she spent i think like five years in prison or whatever and when she got out of prison she put him on child support she took custody of her child back and got and put him on child support. That was insane. I hope nothing like this happens to this man. However, how, however, however many years she's going to serve in prison, I hope that this does not happen to this damn man. He should be able to get full custody of the child. I'm not saying she shouldn't be able to see the child. If she wants to get visitation, that's cool. But she should not be able to get full custody of the child. She should not be able to put him on child support. Honestly, if we're honest, if if we're being real, she shouldn't even be able to have contact with him and the child. Period. But y'all know that's not going to damn happen. Oh, that's the mother. The mother should should be should be able to see the damn child. No. Insane, man. Anyway, man. Um, yeah. So I want y'all to comment down below. Let me know what y'all thought about this video, man. Uh, thanks for watching. And until next time, please, man. Y'all be safe for her, cuz. Another South Florida teacher accused of having an inappropriate relationship with a teen. The 41-year-old right here seen getting out of jail tonight on charges she had sex with a 15 year old. Good evening, South Florida, I'm Carlos Suarez. The teacher has been under investigation for months after students said they saw a cell phone video of the two. NBC6 reporter Paxton Boyd was there when she got out of jail. 
Yeah, I'm outside of Hyrie Calvi's home. I knocked on the door earlier. A young man answered the door simply saying no comment. There was no indication that Calvi was home. The 41-year-old teacher facing a slew of charges after being released from jail earlier today. Ms. Calvi, what do you have to say about the allegations against you? Shielded by an umbrella, her head covered with a black blanket. Hyrie Calvi was released from jail early Saturday morning. The 41-year-old teacher accused of sex crimes with a 15-year-old boy. Police also confirming she is eight months pregnant. Whose child are you pregnant with? I'm not going to speculate as to whose child it is. Calvi, a teacher at John I. Smith K-8 Center in Doral, was tutoring a former student now in high school. She was arrested after a seven-month-long investigation. Miami-Dade County Public Schools reassigning her during that time. Anytime you have uh, uh, allegations of this nature, they're concerned more so uh, when they involve uh, a person who's in a figure of authority. According to the arrest report, the investigation uncovered nude photos of both Calvi and the student and WhatsApp messages with each of them telling each other, I love you. The arrest affidavit contains text messages to the boy telling him what to do if he is questioned about their relationship, saying, quote, Miss Calvi is my tutor. You don't know anything. You are just my friend. The student eventually telling investigators they did have sex, but claimed it was consensual and he was not a victim. When we spoke to him, uh, he denied being a victim. Uh, he flat out told, her, uh, told us that uh, he was not raped. Um, but I want to point out that under Florida law, a minor cannot give consent. Now, we were able to talk to some neighbors. They did not want to go on camera, but they did call the allegations shocking and horrifying.